Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing my 2014 favorites. I have a mix of beauty stuff, like bath stuff, all kinds of stuff in here. And it's just stuff that I've used over and over. Some of it, like, I found on sale and kind of stocked up on, so I know I'd have it later on. Or some of it could be, I liked it a lot, so I bought it for somebody else as a gift or whatever, and I'm suggesting them to you now. So, let's just get to it. This is going to be in no particular order. Just as I pick up things, I'll tell you why I love them. The first thing is the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. It's like a hair mask for your face. It's a hair mask that you put on for about... How long is it? About three to five minutes. You just leave it on your hair. And within the first use, I've used it like two or three times since then, you can tell your hair just feels and looks better, it's more manageable, it's softer, it's shinier, all that fun stuff. The next product I've, I know I've talked about this in one of my favorite hit and miss videos, is the Freeman Facial Polishing Mask with Charcoal and Black Sugar in it. I really like this because I could tell after the first use that my skin was smoother and like the little bumps and all that stuff were gone and you can even find like a little packet like this and try it out first even though this isn't too bad of a price range it's like four dollars three four dollars but if you do have any reaction to it if you buy this it's just like a dollar fifty or whatnot so you can see if you like it or not I love it really, really like it and it's one of those things I suggest to people or I've gotten the little packet and given it like as part of the gift or whatever my first make makeup item is the VH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. And since buying this palette, I've gotten a lot of other VH Cosmetics palettes. It has a lot of variety in color and tones in here. All of them are very shimmery, very pigmented, wear a long time, look beautiful. And even the colors that you don't think you'll use, like the oranges and kind of gold colors, they aren't as bright in here like they don't look as they don't have the same kind of impact but not in a bad way it's just they don't look as intense when you put them on next item is another hair item and it's kind of a random thing but I really like it it is a turby twist towel it's one of those like as seen on TV items and I picked it up at CVS when they're like buy one get one free and just thought I'll try it out because it does take a really long time to dry all of this hair and it doesn't quite fit my hair so what I end up doing is kind of like folding my hair in half and then wrapping it in there but I love this thing it keeps my hair out of, out of the way when it's wet and as long as you twist it up tightly you can wear it for a while. I even fell asleep in it once. It's really comfortable. It's so good that I bought my sister one. And they have it in solids and prints and they have ones that have embroider on them too. This one is pink with little hearts on it. I just love the Turby Twist. You can use it on short hair, long hair, thick hair, thin hair. Doesn't matter. You can use it on anything. Just about Another item is the Village Naturals Therapy Muscle Relief Lotion. Now this, it could be hit or miss for people. I really like it. It's a very unique sensation because of the eucalyptus, menthol, and wintergreen in there. It feels like a cough drop for your skin. I like to put it like on my calves when I've been at work and my legs hurt a lot. I do suggest in the store kind of like testing it on your arm or wherever to see if you can handle what it feels like and if you like it or not before investing in this even though it's only like seven dollars at the most just so you know you like it before you end up with a huge bottle of it another body item is the tree nut say shea sugar scrub in almond and honey i love the way it smells leaves my skin feeling really nice and it's not too abrasive either it just makes you feel nice all over. Another hair item is the Not Your Mother's Naughty Tonight Conditioning Detangler. And like I said, my hair is really hard to manage. It's 
textured and thick and there's a lot of it and it's long. This helps me brush through it when it's wet or dry. I usually use use it when my hair is wet because that's the hardest time to get my hair untangled. I got two little makeup palettes here. One of them is the Geometric Eyeshadow Book from e.l.f. And I like this book because it has a variety of neutral tones and the green and pink purplish tones in there as well. There's a lot of variety and it's really easy to carry around with you. It has a mirror in there and just all the neutral tones mean it can work on anybody I think. The second little palette is BH Cosmetics again and it is the Wild Child palette. Now three, there's three of these palettes. This is Wild Child, Born Wild, Wild and Free, something like that. And one of them is more pink tones, one of them is more blue tones, but this one is the neutral tones. I love all these shades in here, even the one, like I said, the orange, which I didn't think I would use. It doesn't come off as orange, it's more, it kind of lightens up on the skin. But I really love this one. I love all the tones in it, and like I said about the other one, it's very pigmented. The colors look beautiful. They go on really nicely. They last a long time. And the last two little eyeshadow products. Silent Treatment Little Trio from Wet n Wild. The reason I like this one is the eyelid shade. It is a kind of like purpley mauve tone. Which I like to put like purple tones on my lids because I have hazel eyes. So it kind of brings out the green in the eyes. And kind of warms up the lid. And you can wear it like all over the lid. And looks really nice and just like with a black cat eye kind of look. And then the color tattoo by Eye Studio from Maybelline in the color Beige and Beauty. And I like this one because it's a nice kind of like goldy tone but it's kind of neutral and it has just enough shimmer in it but it's not like too sparkly that you could wear it every day and not look too dressed up or like overdone or whatever. We're almost to the end. My last four eye items are two eyeliners and a mascara. The mascara is Ulta Voluptuous Volume in the orange tube. And I got this way back when it was like one of those free gifts with purchase kind of things. And I'm not too impressed with Ulta brand items, but I really like this mascara. Like it says, it's volumizing, it's lengthening. It lasts all day, it doesn't flake or anything, and I really like it. And the three eyeliners I have, they're all kind of similar in the kind of applicator they have. It's kind of like a felt tip, little nib. The first one is Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in Prismatic Purple. This is like a purple with kind of purplish blue, bluish purple glitter in it. And it goes on really nicely, lasts a long time. It dies pretty quick, quickly as well. And these two eyeliners, black, both black eyeliners, they kind of are, they're not like really a matte, but they're not like shimmery. There's no glitter in them, but they don't dry to a matte finish. And first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Defining Marker. And the other one is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. They're both very similar in that they are pins. The only difference is really one of them has a thicker nib than the other one. And the Wet n Wild one is actually kind of hard to find. The first time I bought it, it was dried out. So then I found it somewhere else and bought it and really liked it. But the BH Cosmetics one, you just have to order it online. It's can't find it in stores. I don't know any stores that sell BH Cosmetics. But it's easy to find online. And my final three items. I have a nail item and two lipsticks, and they're not similar at all. The first one is the NYX Talia lipstick. It's a nice kind of mauve almost nude color that I think could work on a variety of skin tones, a variety of people. I like it. It goes on very smooth. It doesn't have an odd smell to it, and I know that's really weird to mention, but if you have something that close to your nose, you don't want it to smell weird. And I really like it. I saw it a lot on Pinterest as well, so I thought I would try it. And the last lip item is the Wet n Wild Black Orchid. And this is one of 
the things that I kind of stocked up on because I found them on clearance for like 25 cents so I bought a bunch of them like four I think including this one that's already sold because I couldn't find the one that I already opened but I really like this because it's 99 cents and it's like a nice like kind of almost blood red almost purple it's just one of those like like impacting colors that makes like a great first impression and you kind of feel like powerful like you could kill a man I haven't done that yet but give me time and my final item is a nail item I couldn't pick any like one or even five nail polishes to show you because I have so many that I just it's kind of a daunting task to go through all my nail polishes and find something. So I decided to recommend the Nicole by OPI Drying Drops. It's another item that I recommend to a lot of people and when I found it on sale for like $1.25 I stocked up. And what you do is you drop those on to your nails about a minute after you apply the final coat and it makes the nail polish dry in like five minutes. Now you still can kind of dent the nail polish but it'll be like dry to the touch so you won't be sitting there for like an hour and a half or whatever however long it takes for your nail polish to dry. So that is it for today. Thank you for joining me. 2014 was pretty good. Let's make the 2015 even better and I'll see you next time.